The Rural Fire Service has been slammed over the fatal crash of an air tanker at the height of the Black Summer bushfires. Three Americans on board were killed. The scathing report by the country's transport safety investigator was handed down today. Finding a lack of communication played a major part. January 2020, the charred remains of the giant EC-130 Hercules tanker, which crashed and claimed all three American crew on board. All three were far from home, helping to defend lives and property during the worst fire season in Australia on record. Rick De Morgan, Ian Macbeth and Paul Hudson had volunteered to come here. A two-year investigation by the Australian Transport Safety Bureau, the ATSB, has found the plane likely stalled in the hazardous conditions, its second-by-second -second animation recreating the final moments as the plane battled wind shear, tailwinds and low visibility. But there was criticism too for the Rural Fire Service for failing to pass the crew critical information. It was still an, a situation where they were operating with partial knowledge um, and not the full picture. The report finds the RFS pushed ahead with the mission despite an awareness of the extreme environmental conditions and that all other fire control aircraft were not operating in the area at the time. The others had found it too dangerous to fly. I'm not convinced that that necessarily was related to the crash itself on that day but I accept we need to make sure that we improve systems for the future. The report also found the RFS had limited tanker supervision, no procedures for unsupervised deployment or managing task rejections or sharing that information with other pilots. The investigation level criticism not just at the Rural Fire Service as the tasking agency but also at Coulson Aviation, the operator of the American tanker. The ATSB saying both had to share the responsibility. The RFS has been slapped with three safety warnings, Coulson with two. Chris Reason, 7 News. A lot to answer for. That's the message to the Rural Fire Service from the family of one of three American pilots killed while fighting bushfires in 2020 near Cooma. It comes after a report into the air tanker crash revealed the crew was not told by the RFS that other aircraft refused to fly due to the conditions being unsafe. It is the largest aircraft to crash in Australia. A Hercules C-130 firefighting tanker colliding into the snowy mountains, killing the three American crew on board. All three were far from home, helping to defend lives and property during the worst fire season in Australia on record. A report by the Australian Transport Safety Bureau effectively finding conditions were far too treacherous and the air tanker shouldn't have been in that fire zone. In hindsight, clearly it was a dangerous place to be. Paul Hudson, Rick De Morgan, and Ian McBeth were flying in Peak View near Cooma in January 2020. At 1.15 in the afternoon, they dropped retardant on the bushfire, but in 22 seconds, the plane tried to climb, stalled, and then crashed. The aircraft likely aerodynamically stalled when flying in hazardous conditions that included wind shear and an increasing tailwind. Not only had other planes stopped firefighting, the spotter aircraft that was supposed to fly ahead of the tanker also refused because it was too dangerous. All other small aircraft had departed uh, that area and weren't operating. Ian McBeth's wife Bowden told Night News from the United States those in the best positions to determine if it was safe to send the plane up have let all our families down and they have a lot to answer for. It is a difficult environment to try and get it as absolutely safe as we can but still do the job that we need to do. But at the end of the day, the pilot does make the call. Captain Macbeth's wife doesn't buy that, saying it is a relief to finally receive a report that exonerates the crew and my husband of any wrongdoing. The RFS will overhaul its aviation policies, promising to provide as much detailed information to pilots before they fly as aerial firefighting becomes more and more common. The pilot's family, hoping nobody else, has to endure this pain. This, of course, does not bring back my husband or my children's father, Mrs Macbeth said, but it provides me with some answers. Chris O'Keefe, Nine News.
A three-man American air crew that died during our horrendous Black Summer bushfires were not given critical information that might have saved their lives. The final report from the air crash investigator found that every other aircraft that day had been grounded, but that information had not been passed on. Our National Affairs editor Hugh Rimmington has the story. Flying a massive C-130 Hercules, low and slow, dropping retarded on a blaze raging near Cooma, the three-member American crew lost out in the contest between daring and the laws of physics. All three were far from home, helping to defend lives and property during the worst fire season in Australia on record. Before taking off that day, veteran American pilot Ian... ...aware of the conditions. The pilots are the ones that make the, the decisions. They look at the uh, fire grounds, they make a decision on whether it's safe to do something or not. 